There is now another new type of auto injector released in the UK called the Emeraid. This auto injector is a little different from others on the market. Allergy specialists have asked for a simple adrenaline auto injector with a higher dose, an extended shelf life and a longer needle. And this is what the Emeraid is designed to meet. The features of this unit are that it has a longer needle to ensure the drug is delivered in the correct place, offers a higher dose with units of 150, 300 and 500 micrograms. It also reduces costs with a longer shelf life of 30 months. There's also no upper temperature limit. It may be kept cold, but you shouldn't allow it to become frozen. It has needle protection following the injection and it's supplied in a durable plastic case for protection when you're carrying it or storing. And finally, there is no need to check the adrenaline as the uh, Emeraid has a peel back label that covers the inspection window, therefore protecting the actual adrenaline from light. The unit is used in a similar way to other injectors, but there are some key differences. With the Emeraid auto injector, it does look similar to other units. Uh, but there's a couple of key differences within how you activate it. So to start with, you would just remove the cap and you can lay that down. On the actual unit, it has full instructions on how to actually use the unit. So with this one, grip it into your hand, then place it onto exactly the same place as you do with others in the top part of the thigh. You push it down into the leg, which will fire the auto injector and deliver the drug. But you're only doing it for five seconds. Other units on the market are for 10 seconds. Once the drug's been delivered, you can remove it, rub the area to so make sure the drug goes round, and then you would still treat the uh, emergency exactly the same by calling the emergency services. And you know, if you're sat, stay sat, or if you feel dizzy, lay yourself down. The reason the Emirate has been developed is to meet the recommendations of the UK Resuscitation Council guidelines for healthcare providers, who recommend that a 500 microgram dose of, for most patients above age of 12 is recommended. This unit is available at this level, which may reduce the need for a second auto injector. Other brands of auto injectors are available at 150 and 300 microgram dose. The recommended dose of adrenaline for the treatment of anaphylaxis is five to 10 micrograms per kilogram. Therefore, a 300 microgram auto injector is too low for most adults so medical professionals can prescribe the Emeraid 500 to meet these recommendations. For an intermuscular injection, the UK Resuscitation Council guidelines recommend a 25 mm needle for all ages. For small infants, a 16 mm needle is suitable. Other auto injectors only have needle lengths of 12 and a half to 16 and a half millimeters, which manufacturers state may be too short for many adults and children. Based on needle lengths, only 61% of children above 30 kilograms and 54% of women would not receive an intramuscular injection with the 12 and a half to 16 and a half millimeter needles. The Emeraid is fitted with a 25 millimeter needle for the 500 and 300 microgram dose and a 16 millimeter needle for the 150 microgram dose. Emeraid's longer needle ensures more patients receive an intramuscular injection under similar circumstances compared to its opposition. Although it has been suggested that the compression and the expulsion force of an auto-injector may enable subcutaneous injections to enter the muscle, this has never been demonstrated in humans. There is connective tissue separating subcutaneous and muscle compartments but to guarantee an effective intramuscular injection, the needle should reach into the muscle. 